Welcome back to the couch. Uh, we're going to be talking to Louise Fenny next. She's here on the couch to talk about pets and Pawsome, a great organisation that brings the vets out to your house. Mm -hmm. Mobile mechanics, mobile vets. Welcome back, Louisa. Thanks again for having us. And you've got Bertie with you today. This is yes. your own cat. This is one of my fur babies. This is Bertie. She's a six-year-old. She was originally a feral kitten mm -hmm. in, up in Exmouth in the bush. Um, but yeah, now she's, uh, now she's very much used to city life. Cat. Yes, she doesn't like. You can let her go if you like. Oh, she'll do she's what she likes. Good. Use your T cat. Tell us a l <laughs> just briefly what Pawsome is all about for those people who haven't caught on yet. Yeah, sure. So Pawsome is a new um, app or online-based booking service for local mobile vets. So you jump online, give us a call, or download the app, whatever's easier for you, and you book a local vet to come to your house. Now we're here in WA, but does, this operates all around Australia. Correct, all capital cities in Australia. Fantastic. Let's talk about the benefits mm -hmm. of Pawsome. How can people? There's a few. I think I've got uh, five different things that you can help. <laughs> Uh, with your pets. Yeah, Now let's absolutely. talk about the first one, slashing trauma. How does that work? So basically when a pet's at home, they're much more relaxed. So that means that their, their heart rate, respiratory rate is going to be normal. They're behaving as they normally would, um, which as a vet then means I can diagnose them um, correctly. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult when the pet's very stressed out, when they're nervous or just really hyper excited. They won't well. sit still or they don't want to be near me. It, it makes it very difficult to properly examine the pet if they're a bit stressed out. And for some for some pets, it's very mm. traumatic. And it's know. true. How many times have we taken out? pets to the vet and they run they want to be free yeah. whereas at home they're in their own safety comfort zone exactly and it's a lot easier to diagnose their problem or maybe just to keep them more comfortable that's right so that works what about better diagnosing the problem yes well along the same lines if the animal is relaxed um, then I'm able to examine it properly um, and also while I'm there at home I can also have a look and physically see what in the environment might be contributing um, to their potential health problem I can have a look at the medical care cabinet and, and see, um, you know, what the client's currently using for the pet um, because it's one thing getting the animal to the clinic and then you've forgotten all the other medications that you're using or mm. not using. Um, and I can also see what they're feeding the pet as well. So we can also make recommendations about what mm. to and not to feed so your pet. So that's part of the home assessment as well where Correct. you can look at the backyard and see if something there could be a danger mm. or... Uh, when you see them in the clinic, you can't always see all the circumstances and all the exactly. environment. So that would help? Yeah, just the other day, for example, I saw a dog, um, very commonly um, dogs get itchy skin. Um, and, you know, on the phone I was uh, asking the full questions, what might have changed to maybe flare it up and they couldn't think of anything, nothing's mm. changed. But I got to the house and they'd just started renovations and straight away I saw, oh, hang on, there's all this sand and dust bang, you know, this is why, and you know, that's something they hadn't exactly. even thought the of. the environment that you, put, you wouldn't know if they came into the clinic. One of the things that also impresses me, you're giving personalised service. Mm. Now, when we go to the a hospital, a pet hospital or a, a, a vet, you're sitting in the waiting room, there's 20 other animals in there, everyone's yelling, screaming, <laughs> people are a bit scared, maybe the pet's not doing too well. Whereas when you call Pawsome to come home, you get one-on-one. -on -one. Yes, exactly. So that must be good for the pet, but not only that, you're able to tell the, the vet your problem mm -hmm. and get it assessed straight away. Yeah, absolutely. And as a vet, I love it because it means I can really take the time to get to know the client, get to know the pet um, without, you know, the 15-minute time slot that you normally have in a veterinary clinic situation. Um, and if you're running over time and you've got a waiting room full, you know, it becomes stressful then also for the vet. So it's nice being able to take the time to, to really make that relationship. Um, and that means we can make it a very personalised service. The better relationship you have and the better you understand the client and the pet, um, the better that I'm then able to recommend which kind of you know treatment plan is, is going to be best for them. Now, another question for you is, say for example I've got a pet that's suffering from cancer or a life-threatening mm -hmm. uh, illness and they're at end-of-life type situation, mm -hmm. is it better, is it a better experience for the pet and yourself if the vet comes home? Absolutely. I mean, if your pet is super ill, if your pet is, is you know, getting, getting ready to say goodbye, the last thing you want to do is, is add the extra stress of carting being the carting car. with the car to the clinic, being in a waiting room. Um, and then also, um, you know, for yourself, if you're upset and traumatised, like I'm sure um, I know I would be mm. if, if I'm saying goodbye to my pet, I, I want to be in the comfort of my own home as well. Sort of the way you treat a human, in a sense. Mm. How do we like to be treated? We hate going to the hospital. Mm. We, and, and the fact is getting that personalised tre treatment at home home mm. it's more relaxing it's you're more comfortable you're more open you're more um, 
relaxed, I guess, and you're not as yeah. stressful. Now, yeah. one of the things I love about it, people ask, do you provide urgent service? So say something's happened to your pet, mm -hmm. they may have drunk something and you're mm -hmm. really worried. Mm -hmm. uh, what happens in that situation? Can they yeah. call you or yeah. should they grab the pet and go to an, an emergency hospital? No, definitely call us straight away um, or book online, anything, whatever's convenient, but definitely call us because we do provide um, out of hours services as well. Um, and we can also provide telepet or even video calls. You do so, that as well? Yeah, so that we can even, if you're not sure is it an emergency or not, we can have a quick chat um, with the vet, even Skype or video chat, um, mm. so we can do that preliminary um, you know, assessment. preliminary assessment there and then say, yes, you need to be seen now or, you know what, it's 10 o'clock at night, totally fine to wait till it's convenient for you to come in or convenient for us to come to I you. I love it. I love the fact that for the elderly people at home that mm. have their pets, they love their pets, uh, they can't get to you, mm. you're providing a service where you get to them yeah. and for elderly people, you know, the pets are yeah. part of their family and mm. sometimes that's all they've got. Exactly. So I think it's a wonderful service. Just quickly, I know we've only got a minute or so left. Tell us about the Chinese medicine and how homeopathy and uh, naturopath services you're providing mm -hmm. as well? Yeah, well look, increasingly what we want for ourselves um, when it comes to health is, an, is a holistic approach. So more and more people are realising that, you know, good nutritious fresh foods um, are super important to health. Um, and sometimes, you know, just having a new medication, a, a different drug, isn't always all we can do. So people are realising that there's alternative treatments out there, you know, chiropractic and acupuncture and traditional um, herbal mm. Chinese medicine are becoming more and more popular for humans. Um, and that means that people are then asking for it more and more for their fur to babies. To provide those services. Yeah. What a wonderful idea. Now, if people want more information, you do have a website with everything on there. Correct. What's the website? So it's pawsum.com. So P-A-W-S-S-U-M, like possum, but starting with paw. Um, and um, you can also jump online and to get our phone number. We've got a 1300 number We do. As well. The number to call if you want to call them right now is 1300 343 580. There's the website for pawsum.com. Mm -hmm. But that number again, 1300 343 580. Don't stress if you didn't get that. Just go to the website, pawsum, with a double M at the end, dot com. And double S, sorry. Do, sorry, double S, uh, U-M. And that everything will be on there. So don't worry. And if you missed it, go to our couch website as well, because we will always have it there. And also the show will be repeated. Uh, Louisa, is there a, a size of animal that you don't deal with? Like if someone's got a cow... Would you go out to a farm, yes? Uh, currently, we're just doing small animals. Okay. Yeah, so dogs, cats, birds, little furries, rabbits. Because I'm not picturing too many people have elephants at home, but you never know. People might Hopefully say, well, not. have a look at our horse. <laughs> but it's perfect for, you know, your 70, 80 kilo dog. The home other day, pets. I saw a 70 kilo dog. He physically couldn't get it into the car. <laughs> no, look, a wonderful service. Thank you for coming in. I'm sure we'll see you again. Thanks for having us. Remember, Pawsome, they do an awesome job when it comes to pets. Mm -hmm. That's Vets to Your Home. Uh, check out the website. That is it for The Couch this week. We're right out of time. No music act. We'll see you next week. Have a wonderful week, Australia. Keep watching Foxtel. Bye-bye.